everyone, what's up? It's me again, Winston. I just went to my favorite toy store today and I you know, picked up a couple of things, so why don't we go check it out? This is my new six and a half inch circular saw from Craftsman. Like I mentioned before, I like the, uh, the C3 series that they got going on uh, because the batteries are all compatible with the same system. Alright, so why don't we unbox this and let's check it out. The reason why I decided to get this is because I have a couple of uh, projects that I need to do. And it may not be car related, but it's really important. So for those of you who haven't seen this being unboxed for the first time ever, it's awesome. It's like Christmas every time. But let me... Wow, okay, this is one whole piece here. Got to remove. Maybe if I just turn this sideways, maybe it'd be easier to remove. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. Nothing else in the box, so I'm gonna set that aside. All right. I got the operator's manual. Pretty much explains how you're supposed to assemble this thing, or how each part works, or what ident you know identifies what parts belong where. Maybe if you need to replace or repair a part, it would be an easier uh, reference. Let's get this out of this crazy uh, oh, contraption. There we go. All right. So this pretty much, it comes with this. And it comes with a guide, which is awesome. And it comes with a blade. It's already protected for this, which is cool. So that's what that's what that comes with. I'll go ahead and take this off. Ooh la la. I love a brand new tool. Okay, so I take it that this Attaches here somewhere and then you let this loose for a little bit until you can get this tool in there and Voila there you go so There's your uh, guide Okay, you can pretty much I'm pretty sure you can adjust it Okay But we don't really need that right now, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. There you go. To install the blade, you would need to pull this hex out. Okay. And then take the blade out of its wrapper like so. And it'll show you which way it rotates. You would have to remove this. Okay. It goes that way to tighten, so we're going to loosen, so we're going to go the other way. Once you have this screw removed, please don't lose that. The arrow, okay, indicates which way the blades spin. So you have to put the, the blade in the same direction. Alright, you'll get the picture. So let me remove this protective barrier. At the bat, you're going to be noticing a little bit of uh, oils on the tips. That's perfectly normal so that it doesn't rust. Put that on there, but first you're going to have to put this one back in here because that's going to help guide the blade. You're going to have to set the chuck in here and then you're going to put the blade on top of that making sure that the arrow indicates which direction it's supposed to go that's supposed to sit on there flush and then you put the screw back in remember it goes that way to tighten so you have to turn the you know turn the screw that way okay and then you use the Allen wrench to turn 
doing this very carefully where I'm just using my finger to stop. Okay. There we go. Now obviously there's a couple of things you need to consider when you're handling these kinds of tools. Number one is safety. So please always, always refer to your operator's manual for crying out loud. I don't know how many times I, I, I have to say it, but I have to say it because you know I, I've been on a couple of construction sites myself, you know, whether you know, I was helping demo or I was putting um, furnitures together in my previous life <laughs> before I started doing this YouTube thing. But all in all, the, the general consensus was if you don't know what the heck you're doing, you, you better educate yourself. And one way of doing it is, you know, watching YouTube videos on operating, you know, these types of wep, you know, not weapons. Well, it could be considered a weapon if you, you know, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you could end up hurting yourself or hurting other people around you. That's a very dangerous weapon indeed. So, always, always refer to your manual, okay? And the tricky thing about circular saws is that you be careful that you wear um, protective gear at all times like goggles and be careful of your surroundings, be careful of people around you, or careful of kickback because of the way this thing operates. You, you have to have proper placement of your hands at all times whether you're left handed or right handed, it doesn't matter, but having proper grip it helps you know from it helps you in, in injuring yourself okay so this thing has um, no laser guide which is you know which is a bummer you know goes with it goes with the uh, much more advanced um, models you can you can adjust the height on, on this bad boy which is you know totally awesome um, so right there you can adjust just by loosening this knob right here you can adjust the height see so that, that's an awesome feature shows you right there two inches this is number two there I don't know if you can see it that there's a, there's a little number inside there see right in the middle of your screen there's number two and then there's a, a half and then there's uh, Actually, that's two, two, uh, one and three quarters, and then there's a one and a half, all right, so on and so forth. There's a one, and then the, all the way to half, and then pretty much uh, almost non existent, but it's not like you're gonna be, you know, you, you, you pretty much have all sorts of depth when it comes to cutting all sorts of wood and whatnot, and then you have here your various angle degrees that you're. Uh, gonna be cutting with or you just loosen this up and you can adjust the angle okay by just turning the base and using this arrow you can indicate just by these numbers that you see right there you may you may you may not be able to see it let me see if I ah there you have the 30 degrees 45 56 and you got your 15s all the way down to your zero if you want it you know nice and flat we go ahead and then tighten this little knob and of course you you know this this is to hold this little guide right here guard, guide rail and it runs off of the c3 battery that i have on my impact wrench which is pretty awesome so i think you, you get more tool for your money okay, and here's that c3 uh battery that i showed you folks uh, a couple of weeks ago the battery goes in there like so now this this bad boy is ready to go here's the uh, trigger lock you have to squeeze that before you can press the trigger okay so again whether you're left-handed or you're right-handed always always maintain good grip at all times so I'm going to push down on this, watch your ears, okay, pretty awesome, right? 
and whenever of course you're not using it it's best that you always remove it from its power source much much safer that way okay of course here with this battery though it comes separate it doesn't come one doesn't come with the saw okay so something you might want to consider it, it also comes um, whether it's separately or with a kit and the kit has other things um, beside it but I didn't need uh, all the other tools that came with that kit so I decided to just go you know with the lone wolf here and I could just use the battery that I already am utilizing with the other tools that I currently got so the next uh, video that I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to put it to the test and I'm also going to make a, uh, a track a guide track for this uh, circular saw of mine so that's all I got for this you know, video for now please like share subscribe if you want to see more and the next video I'll be doing using this tool I'll be putting it in action okay take care good luck don't do anything crazy out there kids alright be safe bye bye